recording so your first question is uh, if you'd like to start your career into the bim automation hmm? which is the yes. right how to how do you start exactly hmm. so i started as a bim modeler uh, and in scan to bim mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, i have seven years of experience in scan to bim and bim also in revit mm -hmm. mep so mm -hmm. now i am the team leader and uh, i'll set up the files templates and families i'll create the families and everything so uh, for the easy task i am creating some uh, basic of dynamo scripts mm -hmm. so not full fledged mm -hmm. uh, full fledged so i want to know more about the dynamo and uh, I, uh, I want to uh, i want to increase my team efficiency with by automation tools how do you start your uh, career i mean how do you start like for example if you want to learn uh, automation so where do you start exactly do you have any idea like i have to start from here i have to start from here do you have any such idea um no so I, when i know about the dynamo just uh, i go through internet and uh, search the information about dynamo and start a little bit just myself only okay okay so i didn't join any uh, institutes or anything uh, so you don't any webinars also yeah okay fine based on your first question so i'm asking everyone here i mean uh, you can share your views exactly no see this is going to be a live debate okay uh, you have to open your mouth for sure okay so but to make this more interactive, I need your presence uh, with your questions, with your answers, whatever. Okay. So my first question for you is like, what is the correct way to learn BIM automation? So this is why did, why I've asked this because Rajesh itself said like, I want to learn Dynamo, like C Sharp and Python and something uh, extra, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now I just want to understand how to start this. I mean, if I want to become a BIM expert, Okay, so how do I start? Is it first Python? Uh, I mean, I just want to know your uh, like answers A or B or C. Can you please uh, type it in the chat box? Whether you are aware of it or not doesn't matter. Choose your like option. Praveen saying it's B. So first he has supposed to go Dynamo, Python, Ruby API and C Sharp. Okay, Maruti B. Rajesh is also B. Okay. Let's wait for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's B. Hmm. Okay. Everyone are copying B, B, B. Are you sure? Hmm. Let me see. It's basic of uh, automation is the dynamo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Python, uh, Mushahid said C. Okay. Congrats. Very good. Sudhir Chie. Okay. And I started seeing different uh, answers now. Okay. For my first question, which is the correct way to learn BIM automation? So my answers are C, A, A, and mostly uh, like said B. Hmm. No more answers. No more answers. Sasidhar and C. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So I I am expecting like few more participants to be joined in the next five minutes. Anyways, let's we'll just go ahead. Okay, don't want to waste your time as well. So, which is the correct way to learn BIM automation? It's option is B. Okay, now the people choose who choose this B as an option. Okay, I want to understand what is the reason for choosing B that? Anyone? Anyone? I want to understand from your like your perspective like why you have chosen b when I mean, you is it a wild guess or 
you are aware of something this is what hmm? yes uh, yes sir like uh, dynamo actually it helps us to it's like visual coding mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, it is the best way to get into the automation like uh, in dynamo we uh, we just have to connect the nodes that's it after dynamo knowing the dynamo uh, like editing the nodes in in dynamo with the help of python uh, that mm -hmm. is the second step mm -hmm. and uh, uh, later on the revit api is the third and uh, creating add-ins with the, with the help of c -sharp. like this i have choose very good very good so you have a very so what uh, who's that who answered it who answered it maruti yes, sir. Ma maruti maruti yes. how many of you agree with maruti's answer how many of you agree with maruti's answer is it yeah right? i agree with maruti Yes. Okay, Rajesh is also okay. Fine. Anyone else? No one. No one. Okay. Well, so let me explain the way. Like you're supposed to start your learning career. Okay, because you know, <clears throat> learning something which is really like and that too for working professionals, sitting on something like sitting on something to uh learn uh you know learn something which is it's not that easy because like we we are already working for we're already working for a company for eight hours okay from morning nine to six and come i mean coming back uh from the office and sitting for in front of a machine for two hours for a training i mean of course the training is going to be after your office hours it's not in your office hours okay so after your office hours sitting in front of a machine for two hours it's not a small thing but if you started learning so it's it's nothing but earning okay it's not that instant earning it'll take some time you have to put a lot of efforts on what you have learned okay so like how it turns to the money that i'll explain you later okay so for now how to start your career is so even though you have spent like i mean that two hours a day or like one hour a day and after 30 days or after two months or after six months you felt okay i'll choose in the wrong way this is not the way we, i supposed to like i supposed to be start with if you felt this that is really a very a uh, bad experience so you know when i mean if it, if he is an engineer and i mean he's still searching for a job for them if they choose the wrong path in the learning he can correct it because he has a lot of time but when you are working as a working professional, you are working as a professional for a company and uh, spending even one hour is also on learning, it's very, very tough. Okay. So don't waste your, you can't see the screen. Uh, can everyone see the screen? Oh, can you? No, no, no. It's oh, oh, yeah. Is that? No. Let me, let me connect it again. Can everyone see the screen now? Uh, the people said no. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Also see can't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine then. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. Fine then. Well, so it's not that. Uh, it's not that really fruitful, and you may lost interest on uh, learning as well. Okay. So learn everything in a right way. I mean, take a guidance from the people those who are experts in it don't go and uh, talk to you. I mean, if you are a modeler, if you are a coordinator, don't talk to the persons who are even not aware of it. I've seen most of the people are misguiding uh, the people who are wants to enter into the automation. I have seen many people, sir, I want to learn Python to become a Dynamo expert. Are you an idiot if you learn Python, how you become a, a Dynamo expert? Both are different tools. This is a programming tool and that is a visual programming tool. So how you will become? Of course, you have a chance to write a Python code in the Dynamo, but it's not the exact way you're supposed to start with. For example, a person who learned Python in the beginning, so it will take at least 45 days to write his own script, the first script, to finish the first script in Dynamo. You understand? But if you start learning from the Dynamo, you will be start writing your own scripts within the third day itself. Why? What is the difference between the learning Dynamo? It's a visual programming. 
so visual programming in the sense someone has already written a scripts and they are providing it into your plate so you just want to have it that's it so you will mix the chutney you will mix that there's i mean all the ingredients like i mean what what are your plates you know you will just mix and prepare it and you can have it you understand so the visual programming in the sense like it, it it's sort of a marketplace let me explain you okay for example for an example danuvapackages.com okay this is to bring sort of an awareness like uh, why you are uh, i mean i don't want you to get into the wrong direction okay so we have our 1907 packages so what do you mean the packages let's consider i mean package is equal to folder so we have a 1907 folders are kept in a cloud server so you have to download it and see i mean if you are an architectural person if you are a mechanical person if you are an electrical person or a civil guy or whoever you are yeah. so you have to segregate okay in this like 1907 folders you have to segregate okay these these folders for like architecture this folder for structure this folder for like modulus this folder for coordinators yeah hmm. this folder is for uh it's getting it's recording actually yeah okay so these folders are for like the documentation sake okay so this is for uh like uh i mean you know creating the parametric stuff in the architectural part so there are different subfolders in it so you have to choose which folder has will support you uh, to create your own scripts to create your workflows simple okay so if you have this i mean and okay that's fine in every folder how many scripts you do have generally if you have this question you can consider based on my 6 years of experience in this uh, automation and i'm i mean into this uh, training from last uh, two and half to three years okay so you know in every folder we can consider like 100 minimum of minimum in 100 scripts in it so we have 190000 scripts okay for now let's consider those as like a scripts okay not nodes or nothing because you are not aware of that and these many installs were done so far these many installs were done so far okay clear i mean uh, th there is a zero actually so i just removed it okay so in this package it means like we have a scripts over there so in 1,90,700 scripts if you are if they are ready to uh, if they are offering for free then why do you have to sit and write your first script why do you have to sit and write your first script from the scratch I hope you are clear what I'm trying to convey. Is it? Is it? Is it everyone? Is it clear to everyone? Okay. So, yes, sir. So, what I'm trying to say is if you have a chance to play something, play with something directly, why you have to sit and write from the scratch? So, that is a wrong decision. Okay. Start from the dynamo is the first thing. So why you know why dynamo don't say that it's a dynamo uh, it is a it's a concept okay like how we have a like rivet is not a bim so rivet is a tool which helps the bim process correct likewise the dynamo is a tool name that's it behind this what is i mean generally what do we call this uh, dynamo it's a visual programming it's a visual programming guys it's a visual programming okay so what is a visual programming in the sense if you have sort if you have an idea if you have an idea how to do it how to do that okay uh, if i have if i have an assistant to do do this exactly what i am going to instruct so that is fine that's fine if you are hiring an assistant array do for, do this as a first step do this as a second step do this as a third step and fourth step fifth step colors so repeat the same five steps again and again on the second element do the same five steps on the third element so do the same thing what i have instructed these five steps do it for every element till you reach the element count like if you have if you are a structural guy you have a maximum 500 elements so do the same task with the 500 elements do the same if you are from mep guy if you you have thousands of elements so do the same five steps of task 
to every element until unless you finish the complete task. Is it clear? Is it clear, everyone? Is it clear? So the visual programming in the sense you should have a, a logic how to write the uh, steps. That's it. Okay. Clear, no? So that visual programming is, I mean, how do you give the instructions? You don't write A equal to 30, B equal to 50, C equal to so-and-so dynamo element or rivet element, and D equal to that dynamo instruction, nothing. You're not going to play with any kind of a coding over there. So you will be finding sort of a, uh, like scripts in a block view. In this, like this. So these are the block, I mean, these are the, this is a dynamo interface. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to explain you uh since i mean uh like out of your 70 uh there i could see like around uh 30 people uh haven't registered it 30 to 40 people haven't registered you're completely new to it okay that's fine so this is a demo for you i mean i just want you to understand how do you learn something from the scratch okay so if you like this training i mean for the first two days you can continue from the third day okay clear fine so tomorrow i'm going to explain like the dynamo interface like what is it and how do you start and what are the things to be considered and everything okay fine let's say click on new so these are the blocks we have these are the blocks we have so i want to uh, sir yeah. can we ask any question yeah yeah you can ask you can ask yeah so uh, just a basic um, question it is like mm. uh, from this uh, course uh, as the name shows it is from being zero to hero mm. so you will start from basic uh, how to do a simple coding to the minimum uh, level mid level or advanced level you will teach in this uh, 30 days or 45 days period or, or or this is only for them who already knows dynamo and wants to improve themselves further more right nice question ashish okay fine this training is for the people who are completely zero in the coding zero in the coding zero in the dynamo okay zero in like the complete concept if you are hate if you hate this coding process you know still you will be trust me uh and uh, if you have any kind of a doubts on my training you know i hope you are already got the feedback uh uh links through whatsapp or wherever okay or else google it like bimara uh, private limited reviews then you will come to know the way of uh, i teach the way of it is i'm going to be your trainer you know uh, for the first level uh, i don't want to scare the people i want understand i want everyone to understand what is happening in the automation so i'm going to start from the very very scratch even though you don't know like what does a equal to can do still i do teach everything you know when do i teach this kind of a coding after like 10 days of a, the dynamo training do you understand so but i'm promising you one thing within the th three days you will be start writing your own scripts don't consider today and tomorrow session since these are like a, a demo for you to bring a sort of an awareness what is an automation and where do you go with and the salary uh the salary ranges and uh, your career and everything. Okay, this is the two days training, which is like a workshop for you. Clear? Clear? So without okay. understanding the trainer capabilities, I mean, you know, uh, choosing the right career is not a, the idealistic thing and not a intellectual thing. You know, sometimes, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm this, I can do this, I can do that. No, that's not make sense. Finding a right correct trainer is also makes sense if you are very good at vision and you got a wrong guru it it spoils your ideas completely i hope you are aware of this because i i found many wrong gurus in my uh, training career and still connecting to many wrong gurus so if you would like to learn something you i should catch the person who who teach me everything from the scratch if i ask something whether this guy could able to uh, explain it or not Array, most of the people say I'll, I'll explain this later i'll do this later not can we do this even the person doesn't know they do have like a two three months of experience and started teaching the same thing not exactly so you should find a 
right guy those who have that capabilities to train on some stuff do you understand clear so trust me from the zero to the advanced level and up to what level you are going to learn you will see that tomorrow ashish clear so what and, is the and, and sir one and sir, one more question i do have like uh, this course uh, started on each month only or, or this is only for month of february uh, actually you know we have a huge participants this batch because of i'm i'm stop i'm i think i'm stopping uh, i'm planning to stop the trainings from the next batch itself this is going to be my last batch it seems okay because you know like uh, i'm a founder of this company as so i'm not supposed to take this kind of a trainings generally but this is after office as you know but still uh, i'm losing something uh, when it comes to my business so we are planning to stop this training i mean i'm stopping this training uh from the next batch for this batch i'm going to be the trainer and from next batch uh i don't think so from march or april we do we do have because like we have to find a person who teaches exactly like similar to me or the same thing okay for this batch i'm going to be your mentor your trainer everything okay so you can harass me like anything during the training text me at 2 o'clock text me in the midnight like 3 o'clock whatever okay if you got stuck somewhere text me on whatsapp so that i can solve your problem uh during the training after the training as well clear clear ashish yeah uh, yeah yes yeah, sir i want to ask you something hmm yeah mamad right. yeah Come on. the thing is uh, i i was pla i planned to join this uh, this sessions you know uh, because you are teaching uh, i mm -hmm. have gone through like your history and i have gone through your many videos sir. so uh, you are saying that you are taking uh, only for the one month it it makes me very nervous actually and <laughs> why why don't you continue for the like for the complete course you know you have one, four week of session uh, for the basics and then you will have two months for the scripting and for other stuff so why don't you continue a complete and then you can leave because we have more expectations from you uh yeah that's true because you know this is when it comes to the training uh the management will not be completely depend upon only the one candidate if i am i am getting a more inquiries on dynamo the people why i am taking care of this you know uh the people not even ever of the basic concepts so even they would don't like to learn from the scratch okay you, you understand so the people yeah. if, most of the people like i mean based on our thing so if everybody have learned a dynamo and the people are stop stop asking for the dynamo and when they are asking for the api i'll be into it and i don't take a dynamo trainings do you understand oh you okay understand? you mean like uh, but but the people, uh, mm. the people who doesn't know anything about rivet before so they have to learn rivet first correct correct yeah after learning rivet they'll start looking for the navis works after learning now so they will start looking for the copy or something else is it so a, a person yeah. cannot directly come and learn the copy without having a rivet experience so uh, the mm -hmm. learning at the starting side should be very very fruitful mm -hmm. that is the reason we are bringing i mean we are focusing on the dynamo for now okay and the next levels of course i i'm for example in a dynamo we have a, like 10 people in api we have a 30 people then i'll be my presence would be there in the api training is it clear okay so based on yeah, the yeah. Uh, participant count the management will take a decision it's it's not in my hand to be frank okay <laughs> okay okay And seriously teaching dynamo But, compared to api for me api is a very very fruitful like you know let me show you i mean um, if you ask something uh, in bimera.n but i am hoping so, right like i will be trained under you uh, i am expecting this thing <laughs> i am very sure, excited to learn sure sure, yeah. sure thank thank you okay fine so we have developed almost like similar application to the chat gpt but it's uh, especially for our students because you know we are uh, we are paying for this uh, credits as well okay you're paying for this so like uh, that one uh, per day or per two days like we are going to pay for this so if i ask something like you know uh like you know like what are the things what are the 
concepts we have in Revit Dynamo. If you ask something, I hope everyone about, know about this chat GPT and open AI. Huh? I hope so. No, I so, don't I don't I don't know about it, honestly uh, speaking. Okay. So if you ask anything, it'll give you a sort of uh like information about it, how to start something and everything. Okay, whatever. Even for example, if you ask something to write a Python code. Okay. Write a Python code to get the element id write a revit python code so if i ask something it will give you how to write the python code to print to get that element id of the particular element is it clear so just giving you the code this is a level two training this is not a level one training okay so what is a level one and level two training in level one you will not touch with the pure coding concepts because I okay. want you to play with these scripts first. So you have 190,700 scripts are there. First, taken as an advantage to use those scripts. Okay, if you download something, uh, how to use it, how to play with it. For example, mm -hmm. I have a, something like Archilab, uh, like core date times and from Unix time. So I have a node here. So what does this node exactly need? What is expecting? So you have seen a block. So you can't see the code behind it. When I double click on this, I can't see the code behind it. So when I, how to connect, it is asking for the time. It's very clear, okay, but how to connect this? What to connect this? If you could able to understand what the node is expecting, then you can, you will be almost like uh, into the right shape of, creating the scripts understand so you would be okay. good understand like if i copy this what it needs exactly what <laughs> what it needs if you know what it needs exactly how to connect How to connect it and what to connect exactly what's a connecting node for this connecting node for this you understand now so you will be learning these kind of a concepts in our training guys okay so i'm not going to teach you any kind of a scripts in the training of course we do teach the scripts like uh, uh, with every concept we do teach you sort of a scripts in december batch let's say these are the scripts i do explain during the training okay so in the scripts like when i get into the where is the text file so there will be sort of an assignments again there will be sort of an assignments again so how to do this and what to do that and all these kind of a stuff like you will be taught i mean there will be sort of an assignments for you again okay so i will not teach any kind of a scripts coming to it we are very clear on our concepts will help you to write your own scripts by yourself. I do teach only the key concept. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yeah, you mean you mean you will teach us the format, how to create a script, but like application uh, that, that depends on our requirement, like whatever we want, uh, we can like uh, we can even I am expecting you will help you would help me right if I stuck something. If, yes. if I'm stuck somewhere, you would definitely help us to come yes, out of we, it. Exactly. Exactly. We will. Okay. So the first thing, there are few <laughs> concepts to be understand. Okay. When it comes to, I'll show you what you're going to learn in this training part. Okay. So these are the main concepts, guys. So data types, anatomy of a node, node behaviors, and node states, and dot notation, execution types, and list management, lazing strategies filtering and the design scripting okay so one two three are there are like 10 to 15 key concepts are there we have added more this is a very old presentation okay so these are the concepts we are going to learn in this the training part 
okay so what is the dynamo and how to start with the dynamo what is a visual programming what does a dynamo work with okay uh savita for if you're not able to see the screen fully you know then there is a bar like this the top bar okay you have to navigate to the top you have to stretch and uh drag it to the top clear then you can see the full screen of uh this thing. okay fine so these are the concepts not only this we i mean i have segregated a lot of concepts into let me stop or scan to be so is it uh, used for modeling uh good question when it comes to the scan to beam you know uh generally it has a lot of points in it so we yes. when it comes to the modeling you know we call it as a point modeling rajesh okay so here the point modeling is a pure part of a geometrical stuff so there is an another another like a way to learn this dynamo it is a geometry so this dynamo geometry is for the people who are into the architecture and structure not for the people who are into the meb clear so dynamo geometry yeah. if they want to create something like a parametric uh, design stuff like parametric buildings okay let's say uh, parametric um, architecture architecture buildings you know if i click on this so to create these kind of a stuff you have to understand uh, you have to learn the dynamo geometry. So the concepts I'm teaching you in our training, it's a dynamo essentials. Like how we have a rivet, you know, how, how we have a rivet essentials. So you'll be learning all the concepts, rivet essentials to the advanced concept. And then you will implement in the architecture if you're an architecture guy. You'll implement the same in an MEP if you're an MEP guy. True? So likewise, we have an essentials in the dynamo. So essentials in the sense, don't treat it as like a very basic stuff okay i'm not going to miss even single pinpoint when it comes to the training part when it comes to the training part is it clear is it yes. clear everyone so i'm going to teach all the key concepts to make you uh, to help you to write uh, scripts automatically you know i've seen few people they are downloading the dynamo scripts from here and there they'll just go to the uh, forum.dynamo.com i've seen They'll just go to the forum.dynamobim.com and if I want to create uh, like a duct from a lines, they're typing duct from line. So they are getting duct uh, line number, MEP fittings, adding, add line with duct, whatever. So they are downloading the scripts from up, I mean from this and they started playing with that. But it is working for the person who developed it, but it is not working for the person who downloaded and start using it. Do you understand? Because every concept, uh, you know, uh, you should understand that there are a lot of uh, like concepts would be there. So if, uh, I mean, then you can ask me, why don't you teach like how to convert a line to the element? I mean, how to convert a line to the cable tree, a line to the column or what? No, my intention is very clear. So why you, why you can't learn it in YouTube? Are you clear? So my concept is very clear. If there is a script which is explained in the YouTube for 30 minutes or 15 minutes, why I have to waste your time for that 15 minutes? It's not only your time, correct? 15 into 20 people in a batch. So it's like almost like a 300 minutes. and It's like killing your time. Is it clear? So I want you to, yeah. if you watch any YouTube video or if you download a script from somewhere or if you got, I mean, if your company bought some sort of scripts to handle and they're looking for, I've seen many people uh, when I'm sending, we are into the outsourcing company. We are an outsourcing company. We are, we do outsource. We have done around like uh, 90 plus people. We have sent 90 plus people into the companies. I'll explain you how the salary ranges as well. Okay. So they, the companies are hiring these people to handle the scripts itself. Uh, this is really ridiculous. I don't see, I mean, why if they have a, person who can develop something, why they have to buy it from somewhere else. And they are taking these people to handle those scripts. Do you understand? So in that case, you have a lot of chance to learn in your training hours, in your working hours, to be frank. So the companies are paying you for your learning, man. You're learning and implementing something where they bought it from somewhere and you have to do it some stuff. Or else, if you have a chance to do, just go and work for it. 
once you enter into the bim automation field you will never sit into the boring traditional modeling and coordination concepts at all you will be doing a different kind of a stuff understand will help you at the if you have our interviews will help you after you join the companies if you got stuck somewhere we have around like 15 people in house and any one of you will help you if you got stuck somewhere when you are in a office hours <laughs> understand this is our promise so we are we are we are doing the same thing from past two years and will continue the same okay you have support because if you are yeah, okay. you have you are a you are a student then we will take care of your career completely so you have invested some x amount for your training you will definitely get it back if you really uh, proved that you are a worthy candidate that i can send you to the companies to my client if i could share something seriously you will be definitely in because you know what we are getting from the training that's nothing what we are getting from the uh, i mean while placing you so that's a huge amount for us and that is our main scope of business so that is a reason we used to train the same concepts the dynamo concepts for 15 hours as well i can finish the same training in 15 hours but why i'm taking like 40 to 45 hours to teach you it's a completely like a spoon feeding i hope you know uh, it's a very powerful keyword it's called spoon feeding until unless if you have a 20 people in the uh, team if everybody if any one of a person is not able to understand i'll give the second example if you are a very slow learner and you started uh, like not able to understand what i'm trying to explain i'll give you the third example fourth example until unless are baba i understand leave me please don't give any i'll keep on giving you the examples you understand so that is the reason i need every day like a 2 hours of yours okay to settle your if you spend this 2 hours a day you will you will you will get the best package like this if you join a, any company uh, if you are acting like a modeler and you have been into the, again as a modeler or else like you are enter into a another company as a senior modeler maybe you will get 10% or 15% because i've changed many companies i've changed many companies in a very short time okay so i have seen only 10% or 15% maximum mike since we are not from the it background the i mean if you change a company to another company you can expect like sometimes you know a 50 to 80% of the hikes if you are in the it industry go and talk to any person who is in the it industry if they switch a company the companies will not leave the candidate if they really wants to switch they'll keep them hold for a very very like like i mean you understand so you, now you are shifting from you changing your you are switching from a non it to it sector so your scale would be not 10% not 20% it's almost like 70% like you can expect like 40 to a 75% for sure because we are into the same industry okay if you have any questions on this if i am if i am lying you can text me personally i can show you the proof as well clear so that's what because i can't show this online because it's going to be it's it's recording and it's going to be on uh youtube again okay so due to some privacy issues like i can't share here so the salary range would be like sometimes you can get the double as well like 100% also you know the people who are who are having like a 10 years of experience the the person having like a 2 years of experience if they both joined for the same bim i mean like a bim <coughs> automation concepts okay the 10% the 10 years experience candidate will be getting the same thing as like a 2 years experience candidate almost similar to it because the companies will not consider your revit experience they will be consider your automation experience only in that case you two years experience you are equal to if you are if you are having like 10 years of experience you are equal to a two years of experience candidate if you start both of you started learning into the automation at the same time seriously you know there i have sent many people those who have started their career like he is having like a 3 years of experience now he is getting a 9.5 lakh in india with a 3 years of experience you know how much you will get if it's a 30000 per month 30 into 12 it's 3.6 lakh package but he is getting 8.5 to 
seriously i'm not i'm not joking at all okay so this is how the salary ranges would be in their automation but it clearly needs your attention i don't want you to skip any sessions i mean if you skip any sessions you know since you are a working professional that's fine but you have to go through with the recorded videos i mean if you are busy today due to some project submission so whenever you have a free time just go and watch the recorded video and if you have any questions join in the next day and you can clear your questions so in every day two hours for the first 15 minutes in the last 15 minutes it's your time you can completely take my hair off like from my head seriously with your questions whatever your queries or everything harass me like anything you are paying me some x amount to harass me let's literally uh, fix this in your mind are i am paying this x amount to harass mr kumar that's it so keep come come with your questions come up with your questions and get your answers done okay get your questions i mean if i'm not able to help you out i'll show you the source because you know if you are in, in still in a uh, if you haven't crossed that stage i mean like that uh, levels so i'll explain you uh, uh, this is what mr maruti this is what mr mayank so this is going to be explained in the day 8 this is going to be explained in the day 9 but i don't want you to keep your a mind in the confusion so whatever you come up with even though it is an advanced question i'll explain that i'll show you how to do it and i'll get that uh, like solution done I'll, I'll provide you the script as well and i'll explain in detail when the that concept comes for example if you have a query if you have a query uh, let's say this overview let's say if you have a query in the dot rotation but we are still at understanding the anatomy of the particular node. But still, I'll explain you this concept. I'll show you how it works and I'll get that done as well. And then the same concept, the same example, I'll explain you. I'll explain it for you in the dot notation. You know, generally, this training is uh, supposed to finish in 40 to 45 hours. But sometimes, you know, it, it may cross 50 hours as well because the people are coming with once you crossed some stage. After dot notation, you guys are having a lot of questions and you literally re really like uh, harass me. I, I used to pick the students, Are leave, leave with your questions, leave with your questions. Let's discuss tomorrow, no, sir. I want it two dates. And then I'll say the two hours training a day, it sometimes it went to three hours also. Ultimately, what I want from you is your attention and the way you're learning uh, and the way you understanding the concepts so if you know if you don't understand i hate the people who said yeah yeah, yeah i'm very clear with the concept and they're not understand at all okay so i'll come to know i mean i'll go and check with each and every part every student in the training like who is focusing uh you know like uh who is doing this and who is doing that if a person is not active i'll come to know that if a person is not active i can understand he's a working professional and doesn't have a time he has recently got some kids so he's busy with okay so i can understand but you know the from this part at least uh, you know the company started hiring the people those who are having let me show you something huh? it's a uh, it's sort of like a strange thing but it's true uh, you know let me open recent that opening not this i think this one huh? yeah so there are few companies who oh, not this one exactly not this one these are hiring there are six applicants for the Revit ap developer there are only six applicants are applied and you know because like we used to contact them for like we have a candidates so we'll, we'll send you the candidates to them sometimes initially it will be like a contract if they don't like to go with the contract we'll send you your service so there won't be no business from this but there would be a, a connection it's like so autodesk developer per company Autodesk Revit developer and they're paying a lot and no one uh, applied for this position seriously so BIM developer and Dynamo expert Revit office there are two applicants seven applicants it's it, it I have taken the screenshot like uh, in the morning and this was posted on three weeks ago it's I mean from the LinkedIn I, I just I took this out so there are two applicants applied for this so why not it's you change your designations if you've been for the same company or whatever x company or y company if you've been into the same positions you'll be getting the same salary man don't you want to uh, get high your salaries i mean you have a personal commitments 
everyone have a commitments so why don't you spend your time spare your time on learning seriously my promise is if you really if i feel really good we have tried around like 600 plus candidates so far on the beam automation and all the levels and many developers i mean uh, add in developers okay so out of this we have placed only 90 to 90 90 to 100 students only like their employees they've been shifted why it doesn't mean like i mean these are the resources we have we are catching these resources we have a four uh like uh business development executives those who are visiting like uh in all the metropolitan cities like in bangalore uh in hyderabad and delhi and uh some other where is that and where is that in why is that okay wherever we have a bim companies we are visiting the bim companies and offering we have a automation people we have trained and they're very good at it so to make that to 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 stand on our words the 15 hours training is not what i mean it's not at all enough for you to finish this you understand for that reason we've been extending this 40 hours or 45 hours uh, and it's been it, it extend till 50 to 60 also by the end of the training you should be very very confident on let me mute okay so by the end of the training like you would be able to create any kind of a scripts that's it it's it's very clear but if i train like 20 people maybe three or four people would be experts and the rest of the seven 15 to 16 people it will take some time but we will be focusing on those candidates as well after three months or after six months We'll text them personal like are you getting any job offers or are you looking for anything so there is an opportunity at so and so place if you are interested we'll send you so we'll we'll be dealing the same uh, like always you understand clear so if you want to change your career don't go here and there and don't i mean if you're a senior modeler don't join as a senior modeler again in an, another company for like the same package or else like 10 to 15 percent if a company is not paying you in time only it, it's just giving you like a delay of like five to seven days the people are shifting the companies seriously i've seen many many people do, do doing the same thing if it is not exactly created on the 31st you know they're leaving it they're leaving the companies not exactly so look for your career look for your career if you shift if you switch from one company to another company from one designation to another designation there must be a value for your switching so in that case, this is the right decision you will take. Okay, keep in touch with me, Rajesh, any opportunities? Do you have any opportunities? I'll be texting you, I'll be, I mean, if you keep on texting that you are, you are interested in it. So you'll be added into a database. Whenever the opportunity comes, we'll help you with an interview process. We'll help you with uh, everything, everything from the scratch. If the company is off. Is a... Yeah, Pradeep, tell me yeah uh, actually i am working as a civil 3d modeler so should it be useful for me also like uh, in my company currently there is a uh, digital team and hmm. they just provide us that kind of dynamo script so uh, as per your training should it be useful for me means should i learn something from this and i have to write my own script for civil 3d can you see the screen? Uh, can you see the screen? Tomorrow I'm going to present yeah. this in full. Okay, so it's a it's a very clear. If you learn Dynamo, you know, don't say it's a Dynamo. I do teach the visual programming concepts again, and yeah, it's 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 recording, Abhishek. Okay, I'm teaching the uh, forward visual programming concepts. So the visual programming in the sense, it's you can implement the same concepts in every. I did not explain any thing in the work i did not explain anything so how to start with the dynamo these all the concepts are not for the dynamo the concepts okay. what you're going to learn it is for the visual programming so if you learn the visual okay. programming even though you are not a civil 3d user you can play with it if you are not a format user you can play with it if you are not advanced steel user you can i mean if you are a, a rivet guy and someone i mean the person who is having like a uh i mean advanced still experience and he wants to implement something and he got stuck somewhere yeah you won't help him my main reason to ask you is because uh from the starting you are uh totally focusing on uh rivet 
so you that's know, why i feel that I, because uh, of the users pradeep yeah that's a right that's yeah. a nice question but you know compared to civil 3d users we have a uh, uh, we have a more users in remit it's not like 10% or 20% it's almost like if the civil 3d users are like 10% the 90% we have a revit users so obviously in a business perspective i would always focus on the revit but yeah fine i mean the way you play with the revit nodes i mean the nodes in the dynamo in revit and the nodes you have in the civil 3d the concepts are almost 99% they are similar Same. so i do teach yes. you exactly if you have a civil 3d nodes you know so you will come to know exactly how to understand the inputs and connect the same inputs exactly simple so how to find these nodes exactly okay how to find the nodes once you find the node how to connect it so where to connect it if it is i mean for example i have connected i have something so when i connect this to this it's giving a warning so why it is giving you the warning tomorrow i'll, I'll explain you don't miss tomorrow session this is today it's sure. clear debate okay today is just a debate so that is the reason i haven't explained anything so far okay yeah. so uh tomorrow it's going to be like uh, you are going to understand uh you know what is a api and how it how it functions and what kind of a uh, you know what kind of a methods we have in the dynamo to play with so what is the design script method what is a node method what is a python method i'll show you an examples so i'll show you like uh, how it has to be uh, done using different uh, methods is it clear clear those who would like who are i mean trust me guys don't treat me like a your uh, you know you're like a trainer okay i'll be a mentor so a mentor is a very powerful uh, like a role than a trainer so we'll never lie will i mean until unless we have a very very good very vast experience uh, into this daily i'll be sitting around a uh, uh, 10 to uh, like 14 hours only only into this automation it's been doing the same thing from the past 6 years so you can assume like how many hours of uh, like uh, experience i do have understand because this is my business it's our business we are purely into the automation we don't teach a revit we don't teach any people on revit and we are not a revit training institute we are not a cad training institute we are purely into the automation we haven't posted so far uh, like we are we are revit training is started we are we are doing it a part of it but it's not our primary business so automation is our main business okay clear clear guys so how to understand this day time start from unix time that is expecting something but you have connected something what it is expecting and why you have connected this so in that case what it has to be connected with hello and yes uh, yes do we have different course uh, different course for geometry uh, uh, in yes, dynamo or it is included in that course it is not in our dynamo training that yes, is for you have said previously no hmm. yeah yeah you have said previously that... no, for geometry we hmm. Yes, it is somehow different because you know uh, the these essential concepts are very very important to play with the geometry. These concepts, the okay. forty to forty five years. I mean, and if you don't understand this forty to forty five, uh, like uh, has of concepts, you know, then you can't play with the geometry at all. The people who wants to play with this, I mean, if you are from architectural structure background. Uh, if you don't sure. see, yeah, okay, whatever. So if you don't understand this 50 hours, 45 hours concept, then you can't play with the geometry at all. Even you can't create, a, a, you can't place a columns without this 40 to 45 hours of training. You understand? Okay. So it, there so, would be a different course for that, no? Exactly. That is a different course for it. Okay, clear? So okay, what so we are going that, to uh, you need. Okay. Yes. So you have a 15 minutes time to clear your questions. So this webinar is supposed to end here. Okay, so we started at 8.30, it's 9.30 now. Oh, you have a 30 minutes more. So if you do you have any questions or do you want me to continue uh, with my uh, I just want, I just want to ask that, uh, hmm. uh, do you teach after that or it is in, it is included in that training? No, that is a different training again. In the sense, after 45 hours training, there is a 20, or 50, I mean, I think it's 20 hours training it is. Okay? Clear? Okay, okay. Okay, that is a 20 okay. hours training that I will be the trainer for it again. 
don't worry okay you will be the teacher na you will be the uh, mentor for that or exactly. somebody else exactly no no it will be me okay then okay yeah yeah fine so yeah, yeah, i have one student to learn from you great great thank you thank yes. you yeah someone what is that someone mohan yeah i just i have one doubt yeah yeah mohan uh, how can how can i use this uh, dynamo in uh, design field because i am working in consultant so i am uh, hmm. designing this map services you, so you have I a lot of you system? would have a lot of uh, you know you would have a lot of uh, formulas and other kind of a stuff right for example from which field you are yeah from which field you are mechanical mechanical you do the deck mechanical. calculations and everything right yeah 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 you do the deck calculations calculation, everything is yes. exactly so you can implement the same deck calculations uh yeah. here as well uh -huh. yeah. okay for example uh, then how about the values and everything will be everything, accurate or it's up exactly will be very accurate whatever you do uh -huh. the functions you will be writing exactly uh -huh. the same thing for example i'm going to no. get the duct let me let me show you a very basic example since you are from the design experience okay no. uh, just note down your questions somewhere i mean once the mohan query is cleared then i'll come to you your questions guys okay meanwhile just prepare if you have any questions in your mind so i want to get the ducts first of all okay so if i use okay. like a categories okay my category is a duct i want to get all the ducts here okay yes. so all elements i'm asking i'm having like i know the category can you please get all the elements of the particular category so when i connect the category to category because yes. this output part should exactly match with the input part of the connecting node okay? okay so if here it is expecting category then you 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 must connect category only if you connect yes. something else it will give you the warning clear okay so i have a total 724 ducks not exactly i want okay. to go through with uh, the level elements so i want to finish okay. i want to get only the levels or else let's go initially i want to get the width of this or else oh. i i have a like uh, which one do you generally consider for your design so? strategies generally which yeah, parameter example, if you hmm if you are taking a uh, ventilation hmm the duct sizing i can calculate based on the velocity or head loss so velocity or head loss huh? so, so here yeah, you can consider the head loss uh, 0.8 or something hmm but this is sample model no i think we don't have any hmm. velocities or assigned properly let's consider something uh -huh, else let's okay. take something okay so yeah, okay. uh this 400 width and 350 width okay so yes, i want okay. to okay. pull all the 400 width ducts and i want to assign something yeah. system type is also not defined no let me check yes, okay. any yeah here we have so velocity it's like a 3.70 ms clear yes, i okay. want to pull yeah, all yeah. the velocities of these elements let's say yeah. get now you know you can use uh let me show you something you can use our open ai to get this let me ask something here okay um yeah. i'll ask this open ai to print how to ask this mm. how to retrieve how to retrieve the element yeah. parameters yeah. parameters in revert dynamo let me ask something okay let's see whether it's giving it can give you a sort of uh, this thing or not how to retrieve the element parameters in revert dynamo so mm -hmm. to retrieve the element parameters in revert dynamo you can use element dot get parameter something mm -hmm. so let me type exactly okay. the same thing element dot get parameter or something when i just copy this okay and when i paste here so which is giving me sort of nodes so i choose yeah. one of a node out of it and then connect the elements yeah. to it and what is the parameter velocity correct velocity so yeah. screen i'll connect velocity here i'll type velocity mm -hmm. i'll type velocity and when i connect this to this so it's just giving all the velocities information yeah is whatever available in the model available in the model so here it is okay so i want to write a condition here so 
I, I mean, forget about where I have the zero values. I want to pull all okay. the values which are bigger than zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. It okay. means they have assigned to a, uh, a system type. Correct? In okay. that case, yes, I will be writing something here if it is bigger than, let's say, one. If it is bigger than one, so which is printing trues and false values. True and false yes. values. So the first of all is bigger than 3.88 is bigger than one. So it is saying it's a true. Yeah. Correct? So the second element yes. is also bigger than one. The third one is also yes. bigger than one. The first one, the, the third one, I mean the Both one, one is, is zero not point. false. Point. So it's not it's bigger than, than one. Yes. So yeah. I will be using a filter nodes. Filter nodes, okay. I'll connect this to this and they'll get all the elements to it. So okay. whatever the elements I have here in in list, I have a two lists mm. here. So in list and out okay. list. Out list return the false. Okay. If you read the text next to it, items whose mask index is false. Is that okay. clear? I mean, yeah. if there is a false value, it will be in the out list. If it is a true value, yes. it will be in the in list. It, it should be there in list. Yes. It will be in the in list. So I'll get this when I connect this. So out of 724 elements, 403 elements mm. are assigned to the system, to okay. the different systems. Clear? Or else the velocity is bigger yeah. than 1. Now exactly, I want yeah. to see the ducks which are having the velocity more than 3.5. Mm. Only 130 elements are there. Yes. Is that clear? Now I want to see all yeah. those elements within a model. I want yeah. to see all the elements within the model, all the duct elements which are having yeah. high velocity in this stuff. Okay. So for what I do, okay. element I want to apply element dot something like color. Um, yeah. All right. Mm, color in view. So I have an elements and I want to apply color dot red or something. I'll apply okay. color red to the syllabus. Now, if I go and check, okay. I can see that the ducts is here in this model. Yes. Okay. Is it clear now? To filter this, yeah. the same velocity elements, you know, it will take a lot of, it's a time consuming thing. You have to go and yes. check each and every duct or else if you would like to go within the schedule and you have to sort mm. it out and all this kind of, now it's very easy. Now it's very easy. You know, you can save this as a different view and you can give it your yeah. modulars or coordinators. Just work on this. Mm -hmm. Just start your okay. uh, like design part from this stuff. If, Is that clear? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Clear. Thank you. But another one more. If I want to make a tagging for the you same, it. which is mentioning the velocity means we can make it in a one shot with the programming or how it will. Be. See, tag by element. Tag by element. So if you have the tag, mm. you know, if you have the elements, you know, so wherever the ducts which are having like a more velocity like a three point mm. or something. So where is the view? The current view is going to be the view, <clears throat> but it's uh, a three D, you know, yes. not exactly. Yeah. If I if I wish yes. to play with the act, level one, act, I mean this view, yes. like floor plan, mm. if I would like to connect this to this, so I'm having a views node. No, I have something like, you know, mechanical, no, HVAC duct plan. Yeah. So duct plan, yeah, okay. I'll just connect this to this. And where are the mm. elements? These are going to be the elements. And horizontal yes. and add, what do you mean by horizontal? For example, yeah, this is the leader or what it will be? The exactly. orientation of the leader. Orientation uh, of the tagging. So do you want me to place okay. this side or do you want me to place on this side? Yes. Do yes. you want me to okay. add a leader or not? Or it's not required. So what is a horizontal yeah, but element? We can, we can use it, right? While these attacks are free and that everything we can make. You it can, clear, right? exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So we will teach you exactly to focus on the input part. The inputs, you yeah, know, okay. it's very, very tough because you are not the owner of the actual script. Have you, yeah. you designed this or no, right? Someone has designed it. Yeah, no. Yes, but yes. In that case, how do you understand the inputs? There are one, two, hmm. three, four, five, six, seven, eight inputs are there. If you hmm. connect any one wrong input out of you, I mean, if you have done 90% of script because of that 99%, it will not work. Yes. It will not work because of that 1%, you did a wrong thing. You have connected the okay. entire thing is correct, but Apart from mm -hmm. that one person, it will not give you the right answer. Clear? So but I'll teach is, you. If it is wrong, means then it you will have to troubleshoot some it. error or because if you see it in C you... programming or something, if you are wrong, it shows some error, right? Here also you'll get the same warning. 
For example, if I connect uh -huh. everything to this here, no, let me show you how the warning yeah. looks like. See now, it started giving the warning. And what is it warning? Uh, error warning. Okay. There is a warning here. So what is it expecting? Mm -hmm. It is expecting the view. It is expecting mm -hmm. a view. It is expecting the view. And the second one that is expecting an element. And the third one, it is expecting like a Boolean. The fourth one is expecting mm -hmm. Boolean and string, string and some other stuff. Mm -hmm. So if it has a five okay. inputs, it will give you what it is expecting. And okay. you have to understand what it has to be connected. Simple. Okay. Okay. So understanding okay, this technology is, it, it's a very, very uh, important if you would like to, uh, uh, like, I mean, without any fail, if you would like to start something, then this is the general method, guys. Clear? Yeah. I hope you clear. Okay. So I don't want to stretch yeah, this. Yeah. 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 Next now, just uh, I have a question. Hmm. So can we colorize uh, the ducts uh, by using of velocity? See, uh, zero velocity is one color, and uh, yeah, one uh, velocity is one color. You can. You can do that. We have a color for color. using of the screen for the using of screen script. Not exactly. You have to write something else. So you have to give here, you know, uh, there is a condition. So what is that condition? If it is bigger than 3.5, but when it comes to the more conditions, if it is like bigger than zero, if it is bigger than so and so, then do this and apply this color and apply this color. You have to change the values. There it's will be like a sort We of... need to make if class, if class like that. Huh? Exactly. Like you have to write a conditions, more conditions. If you have a like okay. a 3.5, 2.5, 1.5, so 3.5 should be in a red color and 2.5 should be in a green color. So you, how many instructions you have given there? How many, uh, sorry, conditions you have given there? Four conditions, yeah. correct? Yeah. 3.5, 2.5, 1.5, 0.5. So that four conditions yeah. has to be written exactly. So what do I do? I'll do the exactly copy paste. Simple thing, no? Can I? Yeah. So this yeah, yeah. is yes. the same but, uh, thing. Can we use a linear condition or something? Uh, exactly. Use, uh... Yeah, we can. Otherwise, you know, even 3.5 also is bigger than, I mean, this value is bigger than 3.5 and the same value bigger than 2.5 also, correct? So you will be writing a different set of conditions like uh, if the number is, uh, let's consider this an X value. So X value should be bigger than 3.5 and should not X value again and X should not be bigger than uh, like, let's say 2.5, let's say 2.5 and it should not be bigger than 3.5. For the next condition, we would like we would like to write like this. Is it clear now? Yes. Is it clear? But uh, do we do we able to make automatic uh, sizing of the services? You can do uh, that. Is a bit you have to add many conditions, man. Do uh -huh. you 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 become lazy? <laughs> you... <laughs> okay. No, no, I'm just asking because if we have no, no, that is possible. Sure, I will try for it. Uh, that is one. possible. Yeah. See if because the condition. Here, my modelers are making uh, too much time to do the modeling. Yeah. So yeah, if yeah. it is possible, means I will uh, use this option. We we have developed some add-ins. You have you seen? Are you able to see Bimera? So we yeah, yeah. we have developed okay. some sort of an add-ins. We used to publish it before, like like six months from last six months. We are not publishing it because we are selling it. Uh -huh. Okay. So okay. all these okay. add-ins were generated from the uh, Dynamics scripts only. Okay. See now. Uh -huh. This is a okay. bigger, it's not bigger okay, than one more, one more, one more, sorry, last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah please. Uh, but here you are considering all uh, the disciplines, right? Architecture, mechanical, electrical, everyone hmm. is there. Correct. How you will uh, manage the time? Uh, for oh my goodness. Because you are saying it's uh, very nice hours. question. Very nice question. Actually, I supposed to explain this. Uh, one more thing, guys. I'm not focusing on any architectural people any structure people, any MEP people. Dynamo is for everyone. Okay, when it comes to the training, you know, I don't take any, I mean, I don't have a partiality or if we have a more MEP model, we have a more MEP guys. So let's teach only the MEP examples, not exactly. I need an element, any element it is. Let it be any element. Okay, I need an element mm. to explain that concept. <clears throat> Clear? In that sake, mm. I will take only that particular example. If you, if you ask me, Rajesh, for this example, can we take a structural element? I'll take the structural element and I can explain you the concept. My intention is to be explain that concept to everyone. Okay. Since you, I mean, Rajesh, I want to know the same, uh, like with a 
uh, MEP electrical or plumbing, then I do give you the same example. Another example with the same concept. Clear? Clear, guys? Clear, clear. Okay. Trust me, yes, you, will, I won't you, will, you will never heard no from my, uh, in my learning at all. I'd never say no. So far, I haven't said no to anyone. And uh, if a chance, I would like to motivate the people to learn themselves, but I will never dig. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, sir I, I want, want to ask you something. One, one person at a time, please. <laughs> One yeah. Person. The, yeah. What, yeah. What I want to ask is like we, if we have uh, like uh, we are working on MEP model, for example, mm. and uh, if we want to place diffuser or light fixture or a or a socket on the wall, if I have a schedule, for example, and like uh, if I have a living room, I want to uh, uh, like I want to place four socket in that, and if it is a kitchen, I I have a specific. Uh, kind of diffusers uh, i want to place two diffusers and if if it is a, like uh, it's a big hall uh, i have a schedule wherein it shows that 100 uh, uh, sprinklers shall be placed so uh, with the help of this uh, uh, schedule you know can i place the number of light fixtures or like any mep element uh, without going to the model uh, without going to the view, view sure yes we can that is possible the only thing is, you know, you you supposed to understand the logic moment. Okay. So what is the logic here? Generally, for every room, we have a dose. Correct? For every room, we have a dose. Yeah. Generally, if I want to place any electrical fixture, what would be the height? Something like 11, 1200. Based on the UK standards and US standards, it will keep on changing like 1350 or 11 uh, something, 1200 or whatever it is. So again, it has, it's supposed to place on the, like this side, we're not exactly the open uh, the other side. So with a distance of like 150 or sometimes it's like a 200. True? Is that clear? Yeah. When you enter it, you, you should be able to access that switches. So you will be finding where the door is. So you'll get the point of the door. From this point, you will yeah. take an offset on the... Now here you need an additional condition. If the door is on this side, if the door is opening on the other side. So we have a uh, like, you know, the door flipping. We have an option called door flip. So we will be getting, is it the door flipped or not? So if it is on, then it's supposed to place this side. If it is off, it's supposed to be on this side, either left or right. So this has yeah. to be placed here. From this, it will check the other distance. Again, every 1.5 meter or like 3 meters, it's supposed to place a one more socket over there. If, if it has okay. a bed, if it has a bed, you know, it will, it will find the bed and it will close some sort. I mean, it will place a fixture which is close to bed, not backside to the blood, backside to the bed. So okay. it will be exactly maintaining okay. like a 300, uh, like 300 mm or whatever it is. So it has to place either this side or this side. So you can give, for example, you have a toilet. Everything is possible with help of your mind, your mindset, your logic. If you don't have a logic, you're very bad at logic, you know, you can't automate anything. But trust me. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I'll help you to get those kind of logics. Come up with me. I mean, yeah. the people who have been learned by us like uh, one and a half year ago, two years ago, they still come to me if they don't get the logic. Because daily we used to work on different number of logics. Do you understand? I work for like I'm working yeah. as a BIM director for an ex, I mean, from another company. So they're purely into the design structure. They, they need a lot of, I, I like sitting uh, uh, beside the people who are into the design part. Because you, you'll get a lot of logics from them. You Even though you are a modeler and you are getting like 40,000, a person who is a designer is getting like a 15,000. Go and sit and talk to him and grab the knowledge from them, guys. Do you understand? Yeah. No person is like worthy. I mean, it's not like the people are earning less, people are earning more. Not exactly. If you have your ideology, they have their own ideology. So if they are earning less, don't look them into a different perspective. Go and learn from them. Go and grab the knowledge from them. So even though I'm a, I used to chit chat, I'll, I'll go and eat for Pani Puri with the designers, even though I'm an owner of a company, you know, because they keep on sharing their knowledges and we'll try to automate it. So once it is automated, that is our business. And in, in now you understand what I'm trying to say. So not, I mean, if the business is supposed to come, it can be come in any perspective. Fine. If you have a yeah. bathroom here, so there is a water closet. There's a water closet. So next to the water closet, I need a hot water system. I need a, 
I'm 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 telling that if this uh I mean like a restroom is bigger than like 150 so and so okay it's a the square I mean area which is like bigger than 150 then place a bathtub then place a heater on the top of it and place a water closet with a hot water system with a hot water system and cold water system if it is a normal toilet like it's a staff toilet or something just place a water closet and a base I mean like a sink is it uh, like wash basin. So, how do you get but, an inspection? Uh, one, one doubt. Hmm. If it is workable only for the typical uh, toilets or high rise typical buildings, or if no, 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 no. This, this keep. For example, in the level one itself, you have a number of master bedrooms, number of master toilets. You understand in one floor completely. Hmm. So, if you are dealing like a hmm. commercial, uh, like a, you know the hotels, or they do have a staff hmm. toilets, and uh, this toilet is like which is like a seventy. The other toilet, which is like a 60. Mm. This another is a small yeah. toilet, which is like a 40. So it won't work exactly mm. if it is a 70 only. So it will, based mm -hmm. on this, you will write a condition. <clears throat> you will be writing a condition. Okay. If it is between like a 50 to 100, do this. If it is bigger than okay. 150, then consider it is like a master toilet and place all those. So you will be giving mm -hmm. the instructions to it. Clear? So okay. even though you are from yeah. a design background, the Dynamo will help you a lot to understand Mm -hmm. uh, your stuff. The only the qualification you do have it's a logic, nothing else. Okay. Is it clear? No. Okay. So. Yeah, clear? One yeah. logic I lost. You just tell me it's possible or not. I mm. just model complete a sprinkler system mm. with the three meter ceiling. Mm. After the completing of the modeling, mm. this architecture guys they change the ceiling to three point two. Mm. And uh, some it's in ground floor three point two and first floor it's two point eight or something. How mm. come I will uh, segregate by parameters or I need to make <laughs> a separate separate uh, scripting for this thing? It's a million dollar question actually uh, for most of the people. Okay, but we have a solution. You know, like uh, for every element. For example, let's take uh, lighting fixtures only. Let's take. Let me turn off this and lighting fixtures. You know, let me turn it on. When I select this, see, this is not associated with any level because the same mm. problem with uh, the same uh, the architecture. These idiots, you know, I yeah. mean, I'm not. Sorry. I'm just I'm I'm just uh, just trying my logic. Just please explain will that work or not? Because the sprinkler is uh, it, it's a, it's a, it's a hosted let element. Let me explain. It's a hosted let element. Hmm. So. If I, I will create any uh, uh, para, any kind of condition which is associated with the ceiling, so based on the ceiling height, the sprinkler will automate. Uh, that's what. Just give the, me Ashish. Ashish, that's what I'm explaining. Just give me some time. Okay, yeah. I understand your question. So here we have one, uh, like, I mean, here it is showing it's like a host, which is saying not associated. And there is no schedule level assigned to it because the ceiling has moved from 3000 to the 3200 or to 2800. In yeah, that case, yeah. we have a we have a node called by ray bonds. By ray bonds. So okay. what it is asking okay. for us. So where is the origin point? So this I'll extract yeah. the origin point of this. So it will give you X Y Z uh, value of it. It means like uh, okay. select model element. I'm not showing you the complete script since we don't have a time. Uh, if you guys no, are no, people no. trying to ask uh, some more questions. So when I select this. So get location. I want to get a location of this element. Okay, I want to get a location. So when I get this, it's getting the point information. When I hover the cursor, did you see that it is asking for the po or point? Correct. So I can connect this point to this. Now, in which direction you want to go through with? In Z direction. Correct. In a Z direction, not X, not Y. It is in a Z direction. Why? You know? Why? I mean, don't ask me like why. If it is a this is a red oh, line. It's it is. Red line. Let me finish it off, Mohan. This is an X direction. This is a, the green is a Y direction. The blue is in a Z direction. So it's a if it is a height matter, the Z direction. Okay. So where is the view element? Like I have to connect the particular 3D view, and then which category you want to place with. So I want to find the nearest one, which is like a ceiling, which is a ceiling, which is a ceiling. So when I connect the ceilings to it. It will find the close ceilings. Then, what are the elements that are having not associated 
we have to pitch it out and then connect to the closest ceilings simple is it clear so that is possible you will be learning this in the training don't worry clear clear i have, yeah. uh, one, I have one, one question there. One question regarding this recorded session. I'm not in mm -hmm. India and I have a time difference of four and a half hours. Is okay. it possible that in some case I miss some of the things? Yeah, I you could can. get it yeah, after three, you, four hours. You will get the recorded session in two to three hours itself. I mean, it will be like posted on uh, uh, like into a private platform. So you have an access. So and that yeah. access would be a lifetime. And not only for that, you know, for example, if you don't want to go through with uh like recorded sessions so i don't generally prefer any recorded sessions anymore so there are there are a few guys who've been into this watching the recorded videos as well but still if you wish to join again you can join after one year also after two years n number of times there is no restriction clear yeah okay clear thank you very much okay. yeah but so if you are interested i have me on whatsapp so that i, have I can control your name yeah bino tell me bino yeah Actually, uh, we have uh, coordinates uh, in Excel sheet. Mm. Okay, so mm. according to that, we have to place uh, one my family into the layout. Is it possible? Yeah, let me show you that. Uh, actually, that's supposed to explain tomorrow. Anyway, since you asked me, let me show that. Um, let me show that. Is it here? Mm. Yeah. If you see this. Um, if you can see this, if you can see this, what happened, man? Yeah. We have the same example, like we have an X, we have a points in an X, Y, in an Excel. Placing elements using the cat or else this is, this is with the help of a cat. So what we have done, if you are aware of the cat, you know, there is a process called data extraction. If you ask this question, yep. I hope yep. you are aware of this uh, methodology as well. What does a data extraction yeah, yeah. do? If there is a block, so it will give you the, the midpoint of the particular block. And that blocks will be exported into the Excel document. And that Excel will be con connected into the Dynamo. And it will place the elements automatically. If you notice this, see there are no elements. Did you see that? There are no elements here. Clear? There are no elements here. And there is a node called family instance dot by point. So it is expecting what kind of a family type you want, what kind of a family you want to place it. So I want to place this L1 lighting feature or else I want to place a sprinkler or else I want to place a diffuser or heat detectors or whatever it is. Okay. So I have connected. I will be choosing the family type from this. And it is asking for the points and the points are coming from a Excel. So I will be extracting the Excel information connected to this X value and Y value and the Z value. Is it clear now? So when I connect this to the point and then it will understand and it will place the points. I mean, it will place the elements within that points. If you don't have a ceilings also, it will work. If you want to place with a hosted, then also it would be possible. Is it clear? So there, see if yeah, they're yeah, exactly yeah. placed on the top of the like a cat document clear uh, uh, excuse me yes Moshe. yeah uh Mushahid, Mushahid, yeah i just want to ask uh, can you hmm. simply, uh, a simple example uh, uh, using rivet just hmm. like i how i can place wall using dynamo multiple walls of the same height or multiple same columns thing. or to be frank you know it is very very easy uh if you are maintaining a proper cad standards you know a proper let me explain you what is a proper cad standard okay so let's consider this uh this is my cad mujahid okay so this is my cat okay so sometimes what happen you know while the people uh draw this so this the length of i mean the width of this it's like a 300 volt and the other hand side it is a 305 or 295 the tolerance so it's not a straight line. In that case, you know, it's a bit tough to understand. In that case, the wall will be like in a cross state. Like it will be, it, mm. it will be having some sort of a slant. So you can add the tolerance into it. Now I will be converting. We have a, uh, let me show you that. Let me, 
uh, I'll just go to one floor plan. Crop view. We have a already. You don't. You don't need to write from the scratch. Okay. I mean, it's it. It won't take even much time as one. Well. If I draw a line here, if I draw, if I have a lines like in this, AutoCAD file or whatever it is. So I want to convert this line into a wall. Let me ask the same thing. Wall dot by curve and height. See, I have a node to directly play with. Is it? So select so model the, element. These, these both are op in different files. How they are connected to each other? Both are in in the different files means. Um, uh, means how? Uh, so this line is connected to this uh, uh, Dynamo right now, is mm. it? Hmm. How is it connected to this? That is logic. You are like you are, you got the element ID. This is a rivet element now. So you have to convert. Okay, yeah, so it's ID for that specific wall or a line. Exactly. So this is an element ID. So now this is a rivet element now. You have to convert that into the dynamo element first. So how do we connect that element dot curve? So element dot curve. When I connect this element, now this is a dynamo element. So where the links with? Is it clear? So here I have a line start point and end point. Now when I connect this curve to this and it is asking for the height. So let's consider 4000 is a height. So height is a number, no? So I'll I'll place a number and I'll, I'll change those. I'll set the number to 4000. I'll connect this. At which level you want? I'm on a level one actually. So I'll connect levels to this. In the level one, I want to draw. So level one. And what wall type you want to go with? So I'll connect the wall types. Exterior, something. Wall type to this. Now I can see, see the wall has placed automatically. Clear? So on a line, you have placed a wall using Dynamo. Yes. So if you have the so lines if, from if the AutoCAD. I'm not placing any line. How I can directly place a wall? Because uh, if I'm going to place okay. line uh, in complete you. model, so how is it possible for me? Then I, I'm going to delete that elements, line elements or line for model. Example, you, you don't have a selection property. Let's say rectangle. I want to create a rectangle by width and length. So before that, I have to change this, the project units, project units from MM to meters. Okay, It'll, it's taking some time. Rectangle, not by plane width. Uh, what is that? The one what I have deleted it, rectangle. dot by uh, width and length. So I have placed something here. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. So I'd like to, it's it's going to be like five width and five, it's a length. Is it clear now? Okay. Let's yeah. make it, let's make it 15 or something. So this is a rectangle now. I have a curves here. So what do I do? I will be connecting this curve. I have to explore this. I have to explore this. I mean, if I can connect directly this to this, it's giving the warning. Since you have the lines to it, still it will give you the warning. So I have to explore this. So topology, like we will be using some sort of a nodes to like geometry dot explored, geometry dot explored. Okay, so when I connect this to this, it will give you the curves now. So when I connect the curves to this, it has created four walls. So why you need a curve to draw a wall? Isn't it by the recta rectangle? Where is the logic, other? Mujahid? Where is the logic behind it? If you need something uh, without there hmm. is a proper idea, without there is a layout, how can you design something? Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, without yeah. a without a reference, how can you draw something? If you are not an engineer, if you are if you are you are not a modeler. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. you are just a modeler. You don't have an engineering inputs. How can you draw something without engineering inputs? True. So it needs something to be as a reference. So based on that reference, we'll be drawing it. Even okay. though you don't so have a reference. A, you have Dynamo to is a part of a Revit software or uh, we download it separately? No, no, no. It's a part of it. It's an inbuilt. If you go to the manager. Yeah, I, I have a Revit software, uh, but uh, it is right now in my you have a me, managed app there is 
See, yeah, minus tab. Minus tab. In the last panel, visual programming panel, there is a dynamo. Clear? Oh, okay. So tomorrow I'll explain you all this. I turn tomorrow as well. Okay. okay? Fine. You'll come to know how to understand. I have a last question. Yeah, please. So why what we are the rest of on... people are not asking Pranshu, Praveen, Priyanka, Ram, and Pradeep? Only these guys are asking. Uh, oh, Rajiv, don't you have? Yeah. Rajiv, yeah, I have a question. Uh, let's say you are saying no. The basic is con concept, and basic is what to do and how to do but still sometime when you know what to do and how to do but now you are very much expert and you are uh, you know what command you need to write or what then, node you need to search so which will solve your problem but mm. how i will know which node to search because unless i know what to search i cannot search anything i have a logic but i don't know what to search and where to search very 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 good question okay there is a uh, let me show you this if you have done with this, the data types concept, okay? If you understand the data types concept, let me explain one by one. If you understand the data type concept, you, you will be knowing that what to connect exactly. If you understand the anatomy of a node, you will be coming to know that if you have connected something wrong, it will prompt you something like a warning or an error and you will be coming to know that how to resolve it. By understanding the node behaviors, you will come to know what an idiot if you do this, even though you have followed exactly the two states, in a hundred percent right way, it will give you the different, uh, uh, like a, you know, like what you say exactly. It will give you the different colors. I mean, like if you, I mean, if your kid is expecting something, and if you have not brought that when you go when you are from the office, so she will change her mood, right? So exactly the same thing happens within the scripts also. It will change its colors automatically. So you will be knowing that. So node states. Node state. It is not like Karnataka, AP, Telangana. It's not like for and when it comes, these all are like programming concepts, guys. So I have segregated in the visual pro. I mean, I have uh, like uh, I have uh, redesigned this entire thing from a programming, from a coding to the no coding. That's it. Is it clear? When it comes to the training, you'll thoroughly enjoy it. Trust me, it's it, it's it's my promise. You will never feel get bored. I mean, uh, like how you have said today for this one and a half hour. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you people bore and so sorry for it. Okay. If you haven't bored today and you will, you will never feel bored every day, every day till the end of the trainings, because you know, I don't teach a concepts here and there. So today, if I explain the concept, you will not be going, you will not going to cover this concept again in any of the training. So I have fixed this concept only for today. Is it clear? So I'll not explain uh, some concept, I mean, uh, some part of our concept today and some sort of a concept and the fourth day or fifth day, not exactly. Today, the concept is explained. If you have missed today's session or tomorrow's session, then not a problem. Then not a problem. You can go through, I mean, the, I mean, you can join on the fourth day. You can join on the fifth day without having any questions in your mind. You can able to understand because every day, the concept which is not related to the previous day concept. You no need to have that kind of fears in your mind at all. Okay, Aray, I missed like last two days. If I join today, should I able to understand today's concept? Don't, don't keep that out from your mind. Okay. So there is a dot notation concept. I mean, yes. if you have done this dot notation concept, you will be knowing that how to play with the dots in the coding. The dots in the coding. And this is the entire heart of this, the process. The entire heart of the process is a dot notation. Okay. So the data types and the dot notations are very, very important. So execution types. By learning this, you will be knowing how to uh, execute something and uh, like what kind of an like, I mean, the script should be played in a periodic or an automatic or manual. If, by mistake, if you open in a script in a automatic mode, callous. It's like digging your own this thing. Understand? So that list management, lazing strategies, filtering and design scripting, every concept will lead you to understand uh, like how to play with the notes, how to find the notes. There is a no, there is a, there is a process called node finding, node finding. Let me show you that. Do we have that here? Control F node finding alternative. I think I'm not able to search something here. Yeah. Alternative node alternative something 
So there is a concept called alternative node finding. So how do you search for a node exactly? So there are some techniques to search within the node library here. So I will be teaching you those uh, like, uh, you know, okay, I'm so sorry. Someone has texted me and I'll leave it. Okay, so you will be, an, what is that? What I'm explaining? So sorry. Yeah. The how, node finding how, how to find the node? node. Find the node how concepts. to find the node? Node concepts. So there are five different strategies. The five different strategies. Okay. So you will be learning these five strategies in in the training. After that uh, node finding concept, you will you will you will have like some sort of a, a maturity to how to ask a question, how to find a node. That comes with an experience. It doesn't need a one year of experience, a six years of experience, ten years of experience. If you understand the concept. That one day experience is more than enough to ask what do you need exactly? And that is very, very easy again. Trust me. Clear, Mr. Ashish? Clear, Mr. Ashish? Finding the node is very yeah. tough. Once you find the node and how do you connect and you will be have you will be taking the decision is it the right node which I'm actually looking for. For example, I have an element here. Let's let's say I have an element here. I want to get the location of uh, this element. So what do I do? I'll type a location. So it's giving me a lot of nodes which are which contains uh, the set of uh, the text in it. So site location. So I'm not able to connect this to this. I think this is not a right node. Apply your common sense. OSM dot location. Okay, it is expecting file path, but I have an element here. So this is not the right one. So when I connect this to this, okay, it is expecting a location, but I'm having an element here. Of course, I do need a location, but it, it is asking for the location. If you connect a location to it, it will give you the latitude value. If I connect a location to it, it will give you the latitude value or it will give you the longitude value. So when I connect this to this, okay, I am having an element. So when I connect this, okay, it will tag the element by element and the location. So this is not the one the right node if I want to get the location information. Do you understand? So how do you find it? So you will be adding some sort of a keywords in the before the location or after the location or you have to add some sort of a syntax before the location or after the location. So these kind of a techniques will be explained during the training, not in the demo session. Please kindly don't mind the wrong. Okay, I can't explain you everything during the training. I mean in this webinar itself. Clear Ashish? It comes okay, with sir. your Got experience it. after Got you're it. done with the training part. Clear? Fine. So, okay, sir. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Rajesh, I have. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Prajit. We do uh, such kind of a task like uh, I have an uh, alignment of a uh, one kilometer hmm. and uh, I want to put some electricity poles at a particular distance. Hmm. So, should it be possible to do such kind of task with uh, uh, this Why kind not? of script? Why not? Let's see. Let's consider it's not like a straight line. It's going to be the curve. Let's say some sometimes yeah. like roads would be in a curve shape, curve shape or whatever it is. So let me get into this. Where is this dynamo? Oh, where is that? Oh, it is here. So after this, you know, let me I have to explain some of the training program and no more questions, please. Select model element. Select model element. So when I connect this, so this, I'm sorry, select model element, just selected here. So I have an element here. Let me remove this rectangle for that. I don't want this. It has already placed the walls. I, I think I forgot to show you. But anyways, that's not a, oh, I have this line somewhere. Let me delete this uh, line too. Yeah. Where is that element dot? Oh, I haven't selected it. So element dot curve. So I have selected something. Which one I have connected it? Anyways, let it be element dot. Just give me a second. 
why it is acting weird let me go with a new document select model element when i select this oh i think it has some point information over there okay element dot curves element dot element dot curves whatever it is either you can use this or you can use that so i'm having a curve here so there is a node called uh, point at parameter point at parameter so when i hover the cursor yeah. on this which is showing that get a point on the curve at a specified parameter between start parameter and the end parameter so parameter in the sense it's not like a mark parameter common parameter so when it comes to the geometry we will be the parameters will call it as like a zero and one if you are yeah. into the architecture you know you will come to know this so this is expecting the values from like the if it is a start value it's a zero the other end value should be it's a one so i want to start with something like with the zero and it has to end with a one with the, i need 20 steps to be segregated so 20 steps see which is taking a thing when i connect this to this and when i connect this to this which will give me the number of equal points did you get this now oh, did you yeah, get this? yeah yeah now i can see the same yeah. points with in the rivet also now rivet what i want to do exactly i want to do, i have to download a let's take a transformer or something family instance dot by point yeah. for the time being so i have the points information because i have a points already so family types if i have a lighting pole or whatever it is so i can select the lighting yes. pole family here for now the time being you know i'll just go with the transformer i want to place a 15 kv transformer instead of a pole yes. if i go and see there are almost like 15 20 transformers were placed got exactly. it so if you notice yeah. this the, so we uh, yeah you have given the example in rivet but uh, my question is related to civil 3d but the, i think the same script uh, well, uh, should be used in civil 3d also in the civil 3d as well in the civil 3d but yeah. if you if you are good at civil 3d you know if you want to be good at civil yeah. 3d you have to be good at dynamo geometry this is purely into the dynamo geometry okay yes yes yes, yes. so because uh, i have uh, like uh, means i know what i want from means what are my uh, problems in civil 3d so i just mm. want to solve that kind of problems with dynamo so mm. i'm aware what kind of logic should i need but still i don't know how to uh, like use that logic in dynamo so that it will make use uh, me. or reduce my time harass me during the training not a problem i'll raise you yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you are if you are aware of this, uh, like contents, you know, then it is very easy. Then it's very easy getting a point, getting uh, like playing with all this stuff. It's very very easy to be frank. But the people are having something like uh, you know when they are pursuing like engineering, uh, yes. engineering days. You know they are scared of the C programming language, and are I hate the C programming again. Why I have I'm on I'm earning like one lakh per month now. Why should I learn? that boring C language again. Why I have to learn Python language again? Python is a very, very easiest language, but not in the level one, in the level two. It's a very easiest, easiest, easiest concept it is, easiest language it is. If you have a kid who is like studying like a, like a sixth standard or seventh standard, both of you can come and sit and learn. Better than you, yes. your, your kid will learn much faster. That easy That's is fun. a Python is. Tomorrow I'm going to show you some examples. Don't worry don't uh don't miss the tomorrow session okay clear so oh, sure, after, sure, sure. after that you take hello rajit yes uh yes. yeah i would uh sorry uh sorry to interrupt actually i would like to add some point in this uh, example actually i got uh, i faced some issues in this uh placement of the poles in the metro uh, uh what you can say tunnels hmm. uh sorry metro viaducts so actually mm. what was the issue i spare so much so much time in placing the poles but mm. when it comes to the elevation then it mm. was not possible I, i'll spare so much time but it, it's not possible with me so no. can we change the elevation and provide the elevation proper elevation to the points uh points which we have get here? no no it is not a matter of elevations we generally called as a plane 
we generally okay. call it as a plinth for example let me take the same let me take the same thing actually the the uh, transformer should not be placed in this point i mean in this phase so that has to be rotated in a like this understand okay fine. so the next one should be rotated like the other phase so yes. exactly like the way it is this is what i think you are asking for to to uh, no as... actually not about this point actually i was uh, actually see if the one transformer is kept at uh, 1 meter height mm -hmm. and second i need to keep at the one 1.2 meters and third i need to keep that. again 1.2 in okay, like every like, transformer has a different elevation yes so how how we can feed the data of the elevations to the uh, dynamo and uh, is it possible yeah yeah why not let me show you now right away where is my dynamo where is my dynamo i am not able to get this is it somewhere got stuck or a come to the picture buddy so where is it all space m why I'm not able to get that? Perfect. Okay. Let me do one thing. Uh, where is this dynamo? Yeah. Thank God. I got this. Okay. So I have a number of elements here. So I want to assign this heights accordingly. So for the first element, the height is elevation is it's like a one meter or something. Correct? It is like at 0 yeah. 0.0942. And some other element, it is like, again, everything it's set up, same thing. I want to place all these elements with a different height. So I have a, yep. like a, I have like a, from zero to zero to, with the height of two meters, with the height of a two meters. And I'm having like, mm -hmm. a, let's say 20 elements. So I have a 20 different heights. So what I would like to do is, if I, I mean, the first element at zero and the second element at 0 0.1, and the third element would be 0 0.2. Is it clear? Clear. Let's say, or yeah. else, not exactly, let's do shuffle. I want to shuffle those values to it. Now, the first element would be at 1.36 height. Let's, you have to connect this manually. Okay, based on your requirement. Based on your requirement. And or some people, also, right? from the Excel also. You can take these elements from the Excel okay. also. For some people, you know, when the, the topography comes, uh, if the topography like this, you know, it's like a slope here, it's supposed to take from here and it has to place one meter. So from this height, it's supposed to place like one meter. If it is considering this height, the panel would be here. The panel would be again here. It's not exactly one meter. So there is a different, different heights. In that case, you will be, con you will be taking the topography points using a dynamo and then connect that to the rivet elements. So here set parameter by name set parameter by name so these elements are supposed to be connected this to this and parameter name parameter name is elevation from level elevation from level so after seeing this demo today i mean is it do you feel is that tough to learn this dynamo hmm? No, no, right? No. It is very yes. easy. So when I connect... In the this, starting, it's a little bit... Uh, means not to say it tough, would be but... there. It, it would be there. Let me set the offset also. Huh? Because I want to change that offset also. So elevation from level. Elevation from level. And I want to change at the same time. Offset from host as well. Control C, Control V. So I want to maintain... The offset from host, which is like a zero. So if I go back and check, now I can see. Oh, okay, fine. When it is when it started creating, let me the same elements to be played with. Disconnect all the stuff, and disconnect this to and reconnect this to this. So it's supposed to set. What happened to this? Run completed. Now first I have to set this offset from host. And then. Offset from host should be zero from this element. The value should set to this. 
something now. So when I execute this, are a crazy, don't do this. Sometimes attachment because I think there is something went wrong with sometimes dynamax weird. Okay. I mean, let me save yeah. the script. Uh, exactly. Testing. Okay. Let me close this and reopen. I have to open the same file again. Oh, so when it okay. Is, In the, uh, no, no worries. No worries. Yeah. If, okay, if you can it. add this point in the uh, yeah, tomorrow's uh, session, you just add this point and uh, one one uh, with one more example that uh, the how can we take the data from the Excel? No, tomorrow it's completely the... tomorrow. Ah, okay. Hey, it's very tough. Expanding from the example, you will be learning. I mean, from the Excel, you will be learning in the training. Before you understanding okay. the Excel concept, I mean, if you wish to hmm. show me an example, I can show you. Let's you bring an example yeah, instead of my Excel. Oh. Okay. You can share me the V okay. transfer link and during the training, I'll just do it for you. Clear? Uh, sure. Uh, tomorrow okay. I have one query. Yeah, Shafel. Yeah, Faisal. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I want all today is just our like QA session. Like from tomorrow, you will start from the scratch. Uh, I'm a bit confused. Uh, no, yeah. Faisi. Oh. Actually, today it's yeah. not our training started. So this is to bring mm -hmm. a sort of an awareness to the people uh, who are oh. like after this, mm -hmm. you know, this is management nation. Like most of the people, they uh, mm -hmm. they're not aware of like how to start with. Okay, so okay. this will not be oh. a, a training at all. Okay, even okay. It's better if you understand this, you know. So from mm -hmm. like tomorrow, uh, after tomorrow, tomorrow there is a very important session. It's like uh, yeah. how to play yeah. with the Dynamo and. Uh, most of the people clouds will be clear tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So okay. after that, they'll awesome. take a decision. I mean, they'll come to know the trainer capabilities and everything uh, in tomorrow's okay. session. And I mean, the management is expecting a few more enrollments. There are five seats left. There are five seats oh, left okay. actually. Okay. For to get those five seats. So we are uh, we are we have conducted this. Clear? Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. So yeah. Rajesh, uh, Rajesh uh, I have one question. Yeah, Rajesh. Yeah, every software has uh, some limitations, uh, either wait or tomorrow. 3D. I'm going uh, to explain you yes. tomorrow about the limitations. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So can we overcome the overcome yes, by using can. of Dynamo that limitations? Yes, you can. See, for example, okay. this is this is going to be explained tomorrow. If you're very new to the programming, then you're supposed to learn the Dynamo first. Clear? So okay. still the Dynamo has some sort of limitations. It can't create, it can't do some sort of an actions without by itself. Okay. You can't find some sort of a nodes as well. It can do only 60% of regular tasks. If you are a beginner, you can expect like 90% of a workflows. <clears throat> if you are, if you are, if you are very good at this, you know, like, uh, you, you, you are a dynamo user from last six months, then you will start realizing, okay, you can't do some sort of a stuff with the dynamo. Then you have to take a second level. It's an iron Python. If you can't find a node, then you have to learn this Python language. And then this 60% can become 80%, not again 100%. Huh? So if you are a beginner, you can expect 100%. So after like playing with the same Revit API for like six months or some time, you will realize that, okay, it can, I can do only. 80% of workflows. Is it clear? Oh, it depends so, on the complicated task, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So this is not a magic tool which gives you everything. That's that's a very bad statement. If anybody told you know, then uh, don't do it. I, I can also say for my admission, I do that. You can do this. Once you admitted, once you have joined into a training, no, I I can't say that. Uh, no, this is not possible because it's a it's a wrong mentoring. I don't want to do that. You understand? So there are some limitations in the dynamo, whether you get, you will come to this, uh, for learning or not, doesn't matter. I should say the right thing. I don't give any false commitments or false statements at all. Okay. Because you know, you will carry the same thing to some other guys. So that keep on circulating within your industry. You understand? I don't want to let it happen. So it's very clear. There are some limitations. I'm going to explain it tomorrow. Clear. Okay. Yep. Clear. Yeah. The possibilities of everything. So the people who are already like interested after today's demo, okay, today's webinar, if you're interested, please enroll because if you haven't enrolled now, 
So that would be a problem. Like you can't, I mean, you have to wait for one more month. And in that month, maybe I can't be the trainer for you uh, to explain the same strategies or else there would be a delay in the training also. Like, I mean, if I'm not taking the sessions from the next month, you have to wait for two to three months until unless we hire an, another Dynamo uh, trainer. So we, are, we keep on trying from last two months. I couldn't find any person who can uh, teach exactly like similar to me. They are lagged like very, very concepts. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I'm sure, pretty sure I'm not going to be the uh, handle the training from the next batch itself. Okay. So if you are interested to join this training and this is after your office hours, if you miss the session, you will get the recorded videos. If you have any queries after one year, I can solve. I mean, I can come and live. And if you have any interviews, I can help you out. If you joined already company and if the company, I mean, if you're, I mean, if in that interview process also, if the company is expecting nine, I mean, if it's company offering at nine or 10, whatever it is, I'll help you out to under, make, make sure I'll understand. Okay. This company can pay up to 15, but we are agreed for a nine. Okay. Because, you know, we are dealing with most of the companies. We've been in touch with almost like every company. So in the Bangalore itself, like we have the 235 companies, I contacted everyone. So if they need any like automation people, they'll directly come to us because we are offering for them for free of cost or less than what the industry is paying. Uh, industry is paying. Okay. That's a business strategy. So take this as a thing. And if you'd like to, if you spend something like 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000 on our training, so you will get that 10 times for sure. And it's my promise. Clear? Clear? So if you have any questions, still uh, you can keep it till tomorrow or else I'll give a chance for one more question. If you have any more questions. Yeah, Roger. Yes. Mohan, you're on mute again. Sorry. I muted you by mistake. Yeah. In Iron Python, mm. actually, you were someone uh, used to teach the editing of the scripts. But oh. here, uh, what we'll cover? It's like a, a complete coding language or it's only the script editing. Okay. To use Dynamo. Okay, fine. In Dynamo, you know, it's 80% of Dynamo and 20% of mm. coding. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in the Iron Python, okay. it's 100% coding. Let's consider 90% okay. coding and 10% Dynamo. Why? Because okay. after this, the 10% concepts is part of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Understand. If you don't have this knowledge, yeah. you can't play with this 10% as well. Okay. Okay. And this is not for you okay. at all. This mm -hmm. is not for you at all. Okay. Clear? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So we have to so go the, step by step. Yeah. Vetri, if you wish to go with the fee structure, then uh, text me personal so that the fee has to be disclosed uh, tomorrow itself after the training so if you wish to learn i mean if you wish to know now uh then text me personally so that i can share you the fee structure it's not that in a lax it's it's a very small amount okay it's not even it's not that small amount as well okay you have an emi option to pay go with okay uh i mean you have a two installments to go with not a not a that is, i mean once you have i mean no viraj no it's it's not for civil 3d if you learn the dynamo concepts, you can implement the same concepts in civil 3D as well. Okay. So when it comes to the fee structure, so if you pay like 50% in the beginning, you can until unless the training finished, we will not let you uh poke your till the training ends. Okay. Clear? So we don't bother you like for the fees and nothing until unless the training. I mean, you can pay uh like two days before the training finish. Clear? Text me on WhatsApp. I mean, if you reach through a LinkedIn or whatever, uh, you can text me on LinkedIn. If you come through with a WhatsApp, you can text me on WhatsApp. Trust me, but you will be having really a wonderful training and it is my promise. I'll, I'll make sure, I mean, I'll make sure because you know, I do teach the concepts like, I, I, I do treat you like you'll be like very, 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 very new to this. And I'll treat you like a 10th class kids, even though your manager doesn't matter for me. You are new to this concept. I will be treating you like a very, very fresh. Okay. Clear. Clear everyone. Shall I take a leave for now? Or do you have any other questions to ask?
Hey, yeah, clear, Rajesh. We'll see tomorrow from the yes. Class. Yes, Jamna. That's my number. Now it's my number nine one six zero five six seven eight nine zero. It's my number, Pranshu. You can take it from this. Okay. So let me type my number. Thank you, Rajesh. Yeah. So I hope you like you have some sort of understanding of Dynamo today, or do you feel bored? Did you feel bored? No, sir. Uh, not at all. Just... Okay. So tomorrow you'll be having like some sort of uh, 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 things again. So take a decision, take a very, very clear decision because you know, uh, like there are many companies, uh, they are ready to pay, they are, they are ready to pay you uh, more than what you're expect, what you're earning now. If you're earning like a 5 lakh, they're ready to pay you 9 lakh instantly. If you join any other company, you will get like 5.5 or 6 maximum. You will not get like 9 or 10 like this. So grab this until, I mean, until unless, I mean, you know, there is a statement from the Autodesk itself. Five BIM model is equal to one BIM uh, developer. So instead of paying for the five modelers, they are they are ready to pay you. And it's not only for the one time. If you have created something, they are going to be utilize the same script in the next projects as well. They want to implement the same to save their time. You're going to save a lot of time. That I'm going to explain to you tomorrow. Clear? So we'll see you tomorrow. So this is for actually I have take I, I supposed to Hello. finish this at 10 o'clock. Uh, but it's almost like 10 45. I really appreciate your patience. Okay. I, okay. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Clear? Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank okay. You. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night.